Solitude, the capital of Skyrim. It's your turn to become a lived-in, massive metropolis, just like we did with Whiterun last time. My main goal in this video is to make Solitude have the same, or at least close to the same feeling as Novigrad from The Witcher 3. So everyone, get your snacks and get ready to turn Solitude into the city you're seeing on the screen right now. But first, let's go back to vanilla. Yeah, that's not vanilla. This is what happens when you have a bunch of other texture mods and you don't really take care of specific locations. So while starting with textures is not really my favorite thing in these videos, I kind of have no choice but to start today's video with the banger, Solitude HD by Clever Charf. This mod, while yes it does fix the issue we had like a few seconds ago, it looks stunning even without that issue. It just makes Solitude feel very clean and very good looking. Just remember to put this mod below any other mods on this list to make sure that you have the right texture show up. In terms of the main mods, let's start with Dawn of Skyrim. This mod I mainly downloaded for Whiterun as it changes a bunch of other stuff over there, but it's a mod that you have to commit to since it changes all the big cities, including Solitude. But don't worry, you won't have any compatibility issues because we got the magic of patches in our hands. That was cringe. So it mainly adds some minor details to the city, such as some really cool statues next to the Bard's College, and some cool new buildings here and there. There are also some cool changes to the marketplace as well, and uh, sadly, these last two things will need to be overridden for compatibility, but if Dawn of Skyrim is all you want, here are some cool things to look forward to. But I do get to keep the statues though. Next up we got the main attraction, a combination of the biggest solitude mods from the old days of Legendary Edition in one main packet ported to the Special Edition. I'm talking about none other than Enhanced Solitude. This is the biggest mod of today's list and it adds a whole new district to the city as well as new buildings into the existing one. Some of the new additions include a Thalmor headquarters, a treasury building, the whole new magical College of Whispers, a public bathhouse and also a more grand entrance to the capital right outside the main gate. Now because this mod is huge and could conflict with other mods you will need some patches to make sure that everything works. And don't worry I won't do the cringy stuff again. You'll be able to find all of these in the description below but I do have the terrain patch, the immersive laundry patch, more cherry trees cause I'm a freaking weeb, dawn of skyrim patch, efps patch cause I do have that mod and a lower collision patch to remove some invisible walls around the city. It might be a little bit confusing at first but if you're having any troubles just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands by the way, just, just do it. If there was one single mod that I'd have to recommend for Solitude, it would 100% be this one. But you know me, I always gotta push my mod list to the absolute limit. While Enhanced Solitude would add a few things outside the walls, your main mod for the exterior should be Enhanced Solitude Docks. Get ready to get lost as you walk through new streets and while you explore every nook and cranny of this edition. This mod makes Solitude feel really like the capital of Skyrim it should have been with a whole new marketplace for outsiders, new huge ships coming from everywhere in Tamriel, numerous buildings all around with new NPCs populating the place and many, many more. In order for this to work well, you did have to install a patch that makes Enhanced Solitude docks work well with Enhanced Solitude, as well as a terrain patch just so you don't have any floating buildings around. And you can find both of these on the Enhanced Solitude docks mod page. As a somewhat newer mod, I would also include Spaghetti City's Solitude to the list, as it works really well with everything we added so far. It mainly adds new details to the city, such as more banners and these little flags for more color to the streets, which I really do like. Make sure to also download the optional Ivy Garden Remover file on the same mod page if you want to have Enhanced Solitude work with this mod, to avoid some clipping. Now that was the main base for the city, do you like it so far? Leave a like if you do, but we're not done yet, let's take a look at some smaller details that you'll also probably like. We can start with Drangen Solitude Rework, a mesh replacer for a few buildings in the city, making them feel more unique. I will link in the description the version compatible with Enhanced Solitude just so you make sure that everything works well with what you have so far. Next up we got an essential mod, I can't believe that they added so many food items to the game and they didn't even consider hot dogs. I'm serious, there's a hot dog mod. 
With Sausages of Solitude, you can now have a newly added hot dog stand selling new and unique food items. I honestly believe this is kind of a cool mod. The stand has appropriate decorations, the vendor looks like a predator, that's not a selling point. The logo is beautiful yet somewhat demonetizable. Just make sure you download the version compatible with Solitude Enhanced, placing it in the newly added district or else it will not work. And we also need to add some more trees with Lobo Solitude. If you've seen my other videos, you know I'm a fan of Blubbo's trees and I'm really happy to see that there's a version for Solitude now. It adds a good amount of trees, not too many, and they're all unique, adding to the beautiful atmosphere of the city. There is a caveat however, as this mod is new, it lacks a few patches and it is sadly not really compatible with Enhanced Solitude. The two mods will work together, but you'll see some clipping issues, and some pretty major ones. There's the chance that someone will be kind enough to create a patch and I really wish there, uh, there is one soon. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna disable a few trees manually, the ones that are sticking out of the buildings. Because I do think this mod is way too good to pass up. If an official patch does come out soon, I will link in the description for you guys. But keep me up to date, I guess, if you do see one or if you can make one yourself. Could be cool. And this is what our city looks like so far. Now let's move on to some models and meshes and such that make everything look cleaner, starting with stones of solitude, better blended rock piles, removing that ugly layer of dirt under the big rock piles around the city. Solitude Object Smith, Solitude Well for a better looking centerpiece to the marketplace, festival ropes because duh, and Castle Dower Spire. Some of these flags in the before and after shots will be missing some physics and I don't know why but don't worry it won't break your game. This is something that only happens when I load the save. Uh, for some reason that happens to me all the time and I all I have to do is move, get into a building and get out or load a different save. It just happens every time. It's normal. So everything now is complete. Let's go. Solitude finished. What? You're telling me there's more? While everything is technically complete when it comes to the outside and inside the walls, let's get a little bit deeper, specifically below the city. You might notice that there are now some drains all around. Well, with Skyrim Sewers 4, you'll be able to explore the newly added sewer system in three cities, but we're obviously only gonna focus on Solitude today. There are a few new NPCs here too, some friendly, some not so much, but it does add to the atmosphere when you think about it. For how big Solitude is, there really aren't that many homeless people, so where could they all be hiding? You'll also be able to use the new tunnels as travel, as there are multiple locations connected underground, which reminds me a little bit of how Assassin's Creed 3 worked. And if you've been arrested, there's now a cool new way to escape from prison. It's so easy to get lost here, this mod is really great. And as we're getting out of the sewers, but still sticking to interior cells, let's take a look at some interior mods, specifically the, the JK end. series, because I think these mods are amazing. They all add some color and more details everywhere, making everything feel less like a prison. I don't know why Vanilla Skyrim does give me that impression sometimes, especially here in the Blue Palace. Just let's fix this. Ah, so much. When it comes to the Temple of the Divines, I also recommend Solitude and Temples Frescoes, I think that's how you pronounce it, for some small uh, murals behind each shrine. I think this is a really cool detail, adding more color as well. And I will list all the Solitude related interior mods that I have in the description as well. All in all, Solitude, lore wise, is a massive city, the capital of the whole province, but it somewhat fell flat given the limitations of vanilla. But look at it now, a sprawling city, giving you a feeling that there's simply too much to explore, which is amazing. I would say that these mods come pretty darn close to the feeling that Novigrad gave me, and hopefully, you feel the same way too. If you like what you saw, I strongly recommend watching the White Run Overhaul video in which I give that city the same treatment. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more, just right before you get to the White Run video obviously. And get ready for more city overhauls like this. Next one will be Markarth. I don't know why you're still here, I mean Whiterun is already on the screen so you might as well just click it now. But if you for some reason decided to stay, at the moment of me editing this video I'll be in Romania. I'm going on vacation for a month and a half so the uploads might be a little slower than usual so that would explain why. Now get out of here, watch my Whiterun video.